we can get any kind of offense generated. Here's Dave. 31 yards rushing for the team in the first half. But here's Troy Davis with a big gain on first down, and he has a first down. Terry, I'd give it to him more times than you can imagine. Every play, I just keep giving it back to Davis. A gain of 14 on the first play from scrimmage for Iowa State and Troy Davis, the 5'8", 190-pound junior out of Miami. Southridge High School gained 2,000 yards plus there. You look at the yards per rush. That's what you're talking about, the 2.2 yards and almost 11 for Iowa. Joe Pommentier, the fullback, and Troy Davis. Now, Doxon moving Pommentier around in the backfield. First down at the 37. They give it to Davis again. No shot. He's got a lot of room. He may go. A man to beat inside the 10 and down to the three-yard line. Kerry Cooks, the strong safety, ran him down, but a gain of 61 for Troy Davis. What a great cutback by Davis. They went strong right. He even took time to reposition guys in the backfield. They looked everything right. Now watch the cutback after he goes to the right side. Cuts back. Now he's in the secondary. Now it's a foot race. He's only 5'8", 190 pounds. He's got great speed. These guys had an angle on him, and because of the pursuit angle, they're ready to get him before he gets into the end zone. But that is a tremendous uplift for Iowa State, Troy Davis. Well, you called it. Give it to Davis left, give it to Davis right. First and goal at the two. And Davis down to the goal line. No signal. He's just short of it. I'd give it to Davis again, and if I'm Troy, I go in that huddle and challenge the offensive lineman to give me any kind of crease. Well, we talked at the start of the game how important it was for Iowa State to get something going early for their confidence, to believe that they could win here at Kinnick Stadium after 13 straight losses against Iowa. Opening up the second half, they've really got something going against a defense that has not allowed 100 yards rushing in the last four games going back to last year. Yeah, well, Davis has 125 right now. He's already passed that. Has Jackson the fullback in with Davis. Here comes Troy diving to the end zone and a touchdown. Great start of the second half for the Cyclones. I think it was John McKay a long time ago that said, hey, that ball's not heavy. Just keep giving it to him. No reason to go away from that here in the second half for Dan McCartney. You knew he was going to break one. They can't hold him all day. This is a guy that ran for more than 2,000 yards last year. Led the nation with 183 yards per game. Jamie Cole on for the extra point. Inside the right upright, so seven on the board. All right, so the offense, the offense has now done its job. Now the defense has to come out and make a stop. I saw the 100-yard graphic in terms of the Iowa defense. Last four games, not giving up 100 yards. 127 now on the ground for Troy Davis, and almost eight yards per carry. The 61-yard run down to the two-yard line. Boy, it was well designed, too, because Doxon took his time, repositioned the backs, got everything strong right, and then Davis made a tremendous cutback behind the wall on the left side. Doxon looks much more comfortable this half. Second down and about five in the 34. Off the play-action roll, out to Darren Davis. The spin, wow. still on his feet. Wow. Knocked out of bounds. What a move down to the 17. He's got a first down, and I'm not sure how he got away. Wow. Do you believe that? The gain of 17 from the younger Davis. First of all, Todd Doxon looks so comfortable here. Watch this. The fake, the play action. Now just get it out there in a hurry. You don't want to wait on this play. It's all timing. Now watch the spin move. Boom. The spin. And I mean, Damian Robinson, number three, is just grasping at air. He came up with nothing but air. Tremendous speed and ability there. He's 5'8 as well. Here's his brother Troy trying to stay on his feet, crawling down to the 11-yard line. Guys Aaron great Klein balance. tripped him up. Yeah, you look at the balance and the low center of gravity, one of the things that makes him so tough to bring down. High school wrestler at 189 pounds. His brother wrestled at 160. A lot of comparisons have been made to Troy Davis and Barry Sanders. Mm -hmm. Physically and talent-wise. I mean, physically, they're almost identical. 5'8", 200 pounds, right around there. Not a bad guy to be compared to. Four receivers set. Davis the only 
back in the backfield right now and first and ten at the at about the 13. Davis fighting his way down to the seven yard line maybe the six. Terry when you watch Troy Davis he's got that acceleration first of all he's a hide and seek runner you know he's only 5'8 so he hides behind these big offensive linemen an offensive line that averages about 300 pounds so he gets lost behind them once he finds his hole then he accelerates through the hole and then once there's contact made then he uses his power now, I was at Florida State last week and got a look at Warwick Dunn. They're about the same size in terms of 5'8 or 5'9, but you look at the speed of Dunn as opposed to the power of Davis after he gets hit. And I think Davis tougher to bring down with that power. So first and goal at the six-yard line. Troy wanted to go outside, but he got tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. Aaron Klein. And all of his left leg. Yeah, see that time the offense and defense did a good job. Cohn and uh, Ray felt and off of they all fired out, did their job. But the defense, everybody's on the ground. Too many guys on the ground for the running back to find any seams. And even when he tried to cut it outside, his feet were all tangled up around bodies on the ground. That was it. Throw to the end zone, a touchdown for the Cyclone. The fullback, Joe Palmentier, out of the backfield. All right, so if you're playing defense, Terry, what are you thinking? You're thinking Troy Davis. Absolutely. So everybody's locking on Troy Davis. Now watch the fullback, the top right of your screen. All right, now here's the play action to Troy Davis. See the fullback right here? Now he's going to drop by that linebacker, let it roll. And look, he's wide open in the flats. Good move by Doxson to pull it down so that the pass is not batted down. He knew his guy was wide open. He just had to find the alley to get it to him, and he did for the touchdown. Two impressive drives here in the second half by Iowa State. 